hi guys welcome you all to my channel if this is your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so in today's video i'm going to be answering all your questions so i put up like a couple of video about how to travel to poland poland vlog poland study application and you guys have asked a lot of questions so i've also tried my best like reply comments on you know youtube videos and also like on instagram i have the link you know i'm going to put the details of the instagram and the facebook here you can go ahead and follow and also like ask your questions over there so in this video while i'm getting ready i'll be answering every of your questions you guys i haven't made up in a while and i feel like this is the best time for me to also like answer your question and try to get ready and also like make up my face so i've gone ahead to also like write down the list of questions that you guys have asked however note that you can also put down your questions in the comment section i'm also going to do like a video to answer the question and i feel like it's also going to be easy for me to just answer the question generally than answering the same question you know to five different people i don't know if you guys get but so while i'm making up my face i'll be answering every of your questions that has to do with like application visa and every other thing so the first question i have is how much is application fee i'm going ahead to prep my face with premiere just so that my makeup can stick a while and note that i am not in any way a makeup artist okay like i said this is my first time of making up this year so how much is application fee i feel like it depends on your school there is no specific amount on how much application fee is however while you are processing a school you are definitely going to see how much their application fee is and it's actually very easy because like every school has like application fee to pay no and also the application fee is not usually expensive so for my foundation i'm going in with this uda beauty foundation in the shade 04 so like i said like every school has like their application fee process and all of that so you basically just have to like check out you know um the application fee and just pay it's usually no expensive so it's usually not expensive so from for some schools it's like 85 zloty for some it's 60 zloty just basically have to like check your school portal and pay the application fee so for me while i you know use my beauty blender to apply my foundation i usually go ahead with this um spray so for this spray i'm making use of kiss beauty spray to allow me to like dab my beauty blender with my foundation so like I said, you just have to like go ahead and check out the school application process and what they need also. So the next question I have is how long does the application process take? Now, I'm also going to say that this also depends on your school. There is no, you know, duration of how long or how short it's going to take. It differs from school to school. And while you are applying, you are definitely going to see it, you know, on the school portal. That is why you have to take out time to read all the information you have on your school portal this will enable you to know you know a lot of questions so how long does it take so for some schools it, your admission can be out in like three weeks why for some schools your admission can take a month or over a month it depends like every school has like their own rules regulations how long it takes and how short it takes and all of that so basically this also differ based on school so i'm going to check my mirror to see if i've applied my just in case if you see me looking at this side i have my mirror at this side so the next question i have is how do i go about the visa appointment you guys i i usually get a lot like every day i get question about this and i'm also going to say that you know 
the difficult part of actually coming to Poland, which by God's grace is definitely not going to be difficult for everyone watching this video, is the visa appointment process. Which, to be honest with you guys, I can relate. Okay, when I say I can relate, trust me, I can relate. I have like a detailed video where I explained like all the application process, all the documents required for application, everything. So go ahead and watch that video. I'm also going to put the link of that video in the description box so you can also like check it out to understand the video better. So how long does the application process take? This basically depends on the embassy, right? Because once you are done, like you've gotten your admission and all of that, you have to like fill in your application form on the site and after filling in your application form on the site it depends on how long it's going to take from the embassy for you to get your appointment so this also depends on the embassy you know i can't really place like a duration of how long it is if you are using the embassy route so for this um concealer i am making use of this pro concealer just so i can highlight like my under eye my up part my nose and my jaw area so like i said if you are waiting for the embassy it depends so for some people it takes like a very long time however like i said in my previous video i you know an agency helped me to run like my application process and every other thing and i've been so grateful for the opportunity to actually like be able to work with them because yeah so it usually takes like a month for them to actually like process the whole stuff you know it takes like a month for them to process it and then give you like the appointment date you know um, that is because if you are under the agency, you get if you are under the agency, they usually like apply, do apply, they fill the form, they do everything for you, you know, and all of that. But of course, you have to pay for, you know, for their service. So, but basically, you can also like do it by yourself. Just go to the portal and fill the form, and you just have to like wait. How long does it take? I can't say based on that. It depends on when you get like your appointment, but. For the agency like i said it takes them one month and it's an opportunity for me to also like be able to partner with them which i'm so grateful for so yeah so the next question i also get is do i need to legalize my documents you guys i feel like it depends on your school you know there are some schools that from the process of <laughs> you guys let me show you guys something so i brought this um concealer and you can see like i haven't opened it at all i haven't made up this year at all <laughs> really i'm not really like a makeup person but i also try to like have makeup and i have interest in makeup and all of those stuffs but i think just finding like the time and because i feel like i'm beautiful without makeup okay so i really don't stress <laughs> anyways so do i need um do i need to legalize my document that's the question it depends on your school so for this bronze i'm making use of this bronze so it depends on your school you know it depends on your school so for some schools you don't need to legalize your documents why for some schools you need to legalize your document before you start the application process it depends on your school so i can't really say yes to this or no to this it all depends on the school you're applying to that will determine if you need to legalize your documents or not you know is as a result of what school are you applying to so if you need to legalize your documents you can go ahead and legalize it but if you're in a school where they don't need legalization then you really don't need to legalize it not all schools requires like legalization and also authentication so either by sending your documents to the federal ministry of education or legalizing it at the embassy during your interview so there are two different things there is authentication and there is legalization so for either of the two there are some schools that don't require any one of them both the authentication and the legalization why there are some schools that they require you to legalize your documents even before you gain admission 
and why there are some schools that they require you to authenticate your documents even before you get admission why some they will give you your admission but you need to legalize it before you graduate so basically it's just like different schools with their own rules their policy what they want and what they don't want so for me my school does not require legalization and authentication luckily enough but i also like authenticate my document before i left nigeria but like i said it depends on your school if your school does not require you to do it then you really don't need to stress yourself doing it and because i you know did everything under like the agency so i just like legalized it authenticated it did everything under them i didn't have to like stress about you know anything personally because yes they also do those legalization and all those stuff too so i've gone ahead now with my bronze you guys with my contour rather i hope i'm looking cute let me know in the comment section you guys are going to rate my my makeup after i ask you all these questions okay so the next one is do i need to write any exam like IELTS exam TOEFL exam gre exam i've had people ask me that question but so far so good when you're coming to poland you don't need to so for my setting powder i am making use of this setting powder i'm making use of this setting powder to set it and the color i think this is color three so you really don't need like any of those documents to be honest with you guys you don't like any of those documents to to you know apply like you don't need to write to fill you don't need to write diary you don't need to write you know all those exams however if you've written it already fine but you basically don't need it for the admission process they don't require you to write every any of those exams like you don't need to write any of those exams i feel like that is also like one advantage of coming to poland you don't need to stress over writing any of those exams so I'll just go ahead and set my under eye. One thing about me when it comes to like makeup is the fact that I use like my beauty blender to apply almost everything compared to brush. I don't know, maybe because I'm not a beauty a makeup professional, but I find it very, you know, easy to use like my beauty blender to just apply like everything I need to apply basically. So I've answered that you really don't need any of those exams if you are coming to poland they are not required you don't need to do that you know you just have to apply so on that also i have also gotten like a couple of questions if they accept neko you know if they accept neko results like i said all these details are on the school portal you need to check out the school portal to read you need to read okay you need to read and one thing about this Poland universities that they answer a lot of questions. You can even like go ahead and mail them. Their email is always on their portal. Mail them and ask them if they accept like this NECO results or if they don't, they will definitely like answer you. So, yes, of course, they accept NECO results. So while my while my setting powder powder is setting in, I'm going to go ahead and just like do my eyebrow so i'm going to go ahead and just do my eyebrow while my setting powder is setting in so when it comes to neko results i'm actually looking at the mirror so that i can get like the angle <laughs> so when it comes to neko results of course some schools definitely accept neko results check their portal for information all the informations are actually there so how much is the range of school fees hey guys i get this question a lot also how much is the range of school fees i it's to be honest with you guys one advantage of coming to study in poland is that their school fees is actually like affordable when i mean affordable it doesn't mean that it is very 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 like cheap 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 it simply means that when you are comparing it to other countries you know it is cheaper it doesn't mean that it is like cheap 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 because to be honest things are not that cheap anyway but 
at least it is cheaper compared to like other countries you get what i'm trying to say so it is cheaper compared to like other countries but the amount of school fees depend on the school so yeah for an example they have like federal universities or public universities they have like private universities they have universities that study like a particular thing like medicine nursing they have a particular university that is into business so i feel like the range of the school fees depend on your course and also what you want to study do you guys get so it varies actually it does depend on the course and what you want to study but it's actually like affordable on the long run you know so another question i have is is it safe over here because of the war of course it is 100 percent safe so i'm going in with this concealer to define my eyebrow because when it comes to makeup as an example your eyebrow has to like that's like one of the gig or the main thing when it comes to makeup so and i'm using this angle brush too i like it also is it safe over here because of the war is actually safe guys it is very very safe very very safe to be honest with you guys like it is so safe there is nothing going on that is bad everything is perfect by god's grace there is no issue you don't need to worry okay so i have another question how long does it take how long does the visa take so once you get your appointment which is like the most difficult part once you're able to get your appointment and then you go and like you go for your interview how long does it take so basically it takes about two to three weeks it takes about two to three weeks however some people's own come a month you know for some special cases it comes like a month and why for some it doesn't take up to two weeks so for an example when i applied although it was two weeks duration but mine came out like a week and three days or a week and four days if i'm not mistaken so it wasn't up to it wasn't up to two weeks but i think like, normally it takes like two to three weeks for it to be out so you guys can you see by my eyebrow So, this is what it looks like. So, um, like I said, it takes like two to three weeks. However, for some, it might not take that long. And for some also, it might take longer than that. It's actually like depends. But I feel like the most important thing, or what I usually tell people is that you don't need to. The most important thing or what you should focus on is not even how long it's going to take. Is getting it right. Like getting the visa at the end of the day. Even if it's going to take two weeks, three weeks, four weeks. The main goal you should focus on is getting it. So for my eyeshadow, I'm going in with this MAC. I'm going into this MAC palette. It's, an actual, it's very old anyway. But one thing I love about this MAC palette palette is the fact that i have like natural colors so i'm also making use of this eyeshadow brush for it while the most important thing is getting it right no matter how long it takes you know either two weeks or three weeks it depends but normally it takes two to three weeks so i also have um how long does the process take in general so Talking about the process also, it also depends on your school. Like I said earlier, like I said earlier, some schools admission comes out very fast. Why for some, it doesn't come out fast, you know, like they state it on the, on the portal that admission comes out in June, admission comes out in July. So you can just like calculate how many days it takes one thing i love about this mac palette is the fact that it is very natural like you will know that i applied eyeshadow so for days where you know you want to keep it as natural as possible i just go for this mac um, eyeshadow palette so like i said it depends 
on the school also i can't really say this is how long it's going to take it depends on the school you're applying to and when it comes to how long when it comes to when it comes to how long the visa process is going to take it also depends on if you are waiting to get it from the embassy or if you are using like an agent to get it you know all those things will determine all those things are like the factors that determine like the duration so i'm going for a very natural look but for days where i want it to be you know loud and shouting i go in with this eyeshadow palette so for this eyeshadow palette that is where i have like all the colors can you guys see like all the bright colors but for that mac eyeshadow just natural color that is not even obvious that i have eyeshadow on so duration depends on your school how long does your school take how long are you waiting for the appointment and also like how long will your appointment be out there is no formula or standard on how it should be you know so i'll go in now to brush out my beauty blender with this brush so there is no how long it should be it all depends on the duration so another question i also get is what is the difficult parts of, of the application like i said the difficult parts even from this video you can tell already that it is getting the appointment that is the most difficult part and thank god i was able to you know have people who did it for me and this really went well by the grace of god so it also depends you guys am i getting beautiful um i also get like questions that has to do with so for my contour now i'm going in with this flawless palette in the shade spice just so i can spice it up spice it up okay, okay. <laughs> just, so, just so i can spice it up so another thing i'm going to say is that you know a lot of people have been asking that what is the denial rate and what is the denial rate and what is the acceptance rate of the appointment like how how high is the denial rate and how high is the acceptance rate to get an appointment so i'm going to say that when you are processing this be positive like why i tell people who come to you know me i always tell them be positive so i'll be using spice and i'll be using melanin also just so that i can have two shades be positive the moment you start having like you know someone even messaged me and started asking me that what is the denial rate for number 10 what's the denial rate for number eight and i'm like you've not even gone for your appointments yet you've not gone so why are you already like having this mindset of denial why are you having like why do you even want to why are you bothering about like denial rates when you've not even gone i feel like you you've already like positioned your mind to get denied so at the end of the day if you are denied like you cost it and let me tell you so i also want to align my eye i'm making use of this eyeliner let me do that quietly so that i don't block my eyes while talking to you guys uh so uh like i also tell people that sometimes the reason why people get denied is because of their mindset let me just put it out there the reason why people get denied also is because of their mindset like you've positioned your mind you have this fear you have these doubts of course i know that you are going to be scared at some point you are going to doubt at some point but be positive if there's something you are going to get from this video it is if there's something you are going to get from this video so i'm also going to go ahead and use um mascara so i'll be making use of this beauty model mascara i don't use lashes because i usually wear glasses so i don't use lashes because i'm still struggling to see <laughs> i'm still struggling to see and you guys i have like a very long eye 
lashes let me show you guys i don't know if you guys can see it can you guys see it? i did not fix any lashes so look at this where i've not applied the mascara and look at this that i've applied the mascara can you guys see the difference just in case if you are doubting let me do this now you can see that there is no eyelashes or anything i have like a very long eyelashes Look at how long it is guys so I don't use eyelashes because one I have like a very long eyelashes and also because I use glasses so I find it very difficult to really like see clearly with the eyelashes on you get it so like I'm like I was saying one thing or one mistake that people also have is the fact that you guys some people's mind are already on the negative parts you know and let me tell you guys something the process where you're applying i know you're going to hear a lot of stories you're going to hear a lot of g's a lot of information some people just give us wrong information trust me when i say that some people just give us wrong information some people some people's work are to put fear in people and those people are not applying they are not in the process they've not been through that process but you see the rate at which they are ready to put fear in people the rate at which they are ready to put fear in people hmm. you guys are not ready for it some people are like their major work is to put fear in you so they come with different stories cook, cook and boost stories they come to scare you Put your mind at rest and be positive. Be as positive as possible when you are applying. Be as positive as possible, guys. Be as... Be as positive as possible when you are applying because people are going to come with a lot of stories. And like I would say, if you want me to make a video on, so for my powder, I'll be making use of this black opal just so I can like apply powder on my face. If you want me to make a video on, you know, reasons why people are being denied, I'm going to make a video on that. You can just put that down in the comment section. But basically, let me just highlight like few reasons. And if you want like a detailed video on that, because I feel like this video is already long, I can make a video dedicated to that reason. So one, your mindset. The major reason, your mindset. You need to change your mindset. You need to be as positive as possible. You need to know what you're doing. Another reason is that you have to make sure that all your documents are correct because they confirm everything. Like, they confirm every detail you put out there. It's very easy to confirm a lot of details now because it's just like a phone call or an email away. Can you see how my nose... Anyways, you guys are going to raise my makeup once I'm done. So make sure that your details or your information are as detailed as possible like they confirm everything you don't need to like forge or lie or try to be smart you don't need all those things at all i can tell you guys that for free so for my lips now i'll be going in with this zaron lips you don't need to like lie or try to like fake anything just be as open as possible make sure that your documents are correct and also you have to be very confident in yourself you have to be very very hey guys hmm. You have to be very confident in yourself you get like you have to be very confident you have to make sure that all your questions have been answered all your documents are correct you are not giving them like any reason or any doubts why you shouldn't come back or why you are planning not to come back so i'll go in with this eyeshadow palette just so i can put some blush on my cheek oh 
on my chin bone I also have like a very detailed video on how to fill your application form because from your application form you are already like proving like your points from your application form so for an example your application form you have intended date of arrival you have intended date of departure your intended date of arrival should be the same with your flight reservation so you cannot say on your application form that you are going to arrive on a particular day and on your flight reservation you are saying another day entirely like everything has to correspond with each other do you get like you have to be very detailed with whatever you're saying and like i said if you want me to make a video on reasons why people are being denied so that you can avoid it i'm going to make a very detailed on that and if you have like any question i've been able to answer a lot of common questions but you guys this video is already very long and i can't answer everything but for the sake of this kind of video just go ahead and drop your questions in the comment section and i'm going to do like a part two where i'm going to answer every question so the next thing now is i'll go ahead with my setting spray just so that my makeup can stick together so while that sets in i also go in with my beauty blender just to like stick everything together So at this point now, I'm just like dabbing it a bit inside so that everywhere can feel the glow. So you guys, rate like my makeup over 10 in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think about my makeup. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section that you want me to answer. And of course, I have a video where I explained like how to fill in your application form, how to documents required for your application go ahead and watch the video the link is going to be in the description box you can reach out to me on instagram my instagram handle is going to be here and of course i'll be ready to help as many people as possible and also to assist as many people as possible through this journey i also know that this journey is very scary at times and you can have like a lot of doubts which is actually like very normal i've also been in that position but Please put your mind at rest. Be very positive because your positivity has a long way to go. And I hope and I pray that for everyone who is watching this video and has the intention of traveling to Poland will be successful in Jesus' name. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to drop a comment and rate my video in the comment section. And you know what? I'm going to see you guys in my next one. Bye.